What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today it's time for episode 8 of my Leicester City title challenge career mode series. Now we've been playing incredibly well so far in this series, we're top of the table, Arsenal are only 3 points behind us though, so we need to keep up those awesome performances, keep picking up wins, and in real life, Leicester City won this game against Southampton 1-0, so I'm feeling confident, I'm playing some incredibly good FIFA recently, Let's get out there and let's smash Southampton. Southampton have got the first chance of the game here though. They're working the ball forward nicely. They played it through and that's a really good stop by Schmeichel. It comes back out to them though and they find the back on there. It's 1-0 to Southampton and nothing else really happens in that first half. So we get into the second. We've got a chance here with Mark Albrighton. Plays the ball across and that's the equaliser. we found the back on there and hopefully we can go on to pick up yet another win here. Schlup's on the ball at this point, plays it off to Drinkwater, decent shot, gets deflected wide, we've got a corner here, Conte's on the ball, looks to the edge of the box to Danny Drinkwater, he plays that across to Wes Morgan, and he finds the corner of the net, I wasn't expecting that at all, Wes Morgan takes a banging long shot, finds the corner, and we pick up a 2-1 victory. So we won the first game, and now it's time to take on Sunderland. Leicester won this game 2-0 in reality, and Sunderland are 19th in this career mode series, so hopefully we can pick up an easy win here. We won that first game against Southampton, we get off to a positive start here, hit the post, and then what on earth was that? That was absolutely shocking. We got another chance here though, straight at the keep, we got another crack at it, and it's 1-0. Nice little tap in there, we've taken the lead, and hopefully we can go on to pick up the victory. We've cleared that one forward to Vardy. Sunderland have got the ball back here though, are they going to get an equaliser? They're working their way through, decent block we got in there and then they missed the target completely. We've got another chance here then with Mares working his way forward, plays that across to Conte, finds the back of net and it's 2-0, that's got to be game over now. Sunderland aren't the best team in the world, we're beating them 2-0 and I'm expecting to score a few more here to be completely honest but that was terrible defending and we allow them right back into the game. It's 2-1 going into the second half. And we've still got work to do here. The game is not won just yet. That was an awesome shot, though. Nearly found the back of net. Decent keep in there. We've got another chance here, though. We're working through with Conte. He looks up, plays that across. We missed that. What on earth was that? It falls to Damari Gray. He's taking on the Sunderland defence. Just misses the target. Still 2-1, though. We've still got the lead. Hopefully, we can push through and pick up the victory. Dyer's on the ball. Working his way through. Gets blocked. They get rid of it. It falls to Hoof, though. Can we do something with this one? Hoof's looking forward, searching for that pass, decides to work it down the wing, plays it off to Jamie Vardy, they've got it ball back, they've cleared it away, and they've got a chance of an equaliser here, but look at that tackle, that was absolutely beautiful. Damari Gray is on the ball once again, working his way down the left wing, making his way into the box, what on earth is going on there? I'm not too sure, I thought I was going to pick up a penalty, but it wasn't to be. Sunderland on the ball once again, play that forward, and Barini is on the ball here. Got a chance to cross it over, but that wasn't a good ball at all. It evades absolutely everyone, goes out for a goal kick, and we pick up a 2-1 victory. And it's now time to take on West Ham. This game finished as a 2-2 draw in reality, so if we can pick up a point here, that would be alright. I'm going all out for the win though. I want to win as many games as possible, pick up the victory here, and take another step towards winning that Premier League title. West Ham have got the first chance here, but that's a good stop by Schmeichel. They're working the ball forward once again here though, playing the ball around nicely. Are they going to get a goal at the end of this one? That's a really nice ball through to Carroll, finds the corner of the net. Thankfully though, he's offside, and the score remains at 0-0. They've got another chance though. We just about managed to deal with that, do we? Nope. That's really nice football from West Ham, and they probably should have got a goal at the end of it. They've got another chance here, though, and we don't manage to clear that. They've won the ball back once again. Song's on the ball, plays that across. Awful shot. It's been all West Ham so far, but we finally got a chance here. Dies on the ball, working his way into the box. Can we score with our first chance of the match? Yes, we can. It's 1-0 to Leicester. We don't deserve this at all, but... That's the scoreline, and I'm very happy to be completely honest. West Ham have had so many chances here. Haven't taken any of them. Well, they took one of them, but it was offside, so that obviously doesn't count. It's 1-0 to Leicester, and that's absolutely awesome. Going into the second half, then we got the lead, and we get taken down there. We got a chance for a free kick with Riyad Mahrez, and that was beautifully struck. It's 2-0, and there should be no coming back from that for West Ham now. 
We probably haven't been the best team in this game. West Ham have had more opportunities, but they haven't taken them. Mares has scored two absolute stunners, made it 2-0. And what more can I really say about that? That was an absolutely perfect free kick. Hits it in off the crossbar. And hopefully we're going to go on to win this one. We've got another chance here with Dyer. He finds the back of the net, and that's got to be game over now. It's 3-0 to Leicester. And I really can't see West Ham getting back into this game. They're working the ball forward here, though. Are they going to get a consolation goal? Nope, we managed to get that away. And Marte's on it. Pokes that across to Nathan Dyer. He looks up. He's going to play that forward to Jamie Vardy. What can he do with this one? We're making a run through the middle there with Mares, but that wasn't a good ball. They get rid of it, and then it falls to Conte. He moves it out wide to Nathan Dyer. Can we get a fourth goal here? That would be absolutely incredible. Nathan Dyer is working his way through. Already scored once today, and now he scored twice. Mares has two, Dyer has two, and it's a 4-0 victory for Leicester. And for the final game of the episode, we're taking on Swansea City. Leicester won this game 4-0 in reality, but... I'm not expecting us to pick up back-to-back 4-0 -back victories. That would just be absolutely ridiculous. But if we can pick up the win here, that would be awesome. Four wins out of four is just absolutely incredible. So let's get out there. Let's see what happens. Schlup's on the ball. What is he doing? Runs into trouble, but gets away with it. Plays it out wide to Danny Simpson. He moves his way inside. Looks up. Plays that to Nathan Dyer. Can we get a goal here? Plays it across. I don't know how that found its way through to Mares. And then the shot itself was terrible. It just about bobbles into the back of the net. And it's 1-0 to Leicester. In that last game, Mahrez's two goals were absolutely insane. This one, though, was just so lucky. Look at that. How did it even find its way to him? And then the shot was rubbish. Anyway, though, it found the back of the net. It still counts. And it's 1-0. Swansea get tackled there. And we got the ball with Mahrez. He looks up, plays it through to Jamie Vardy, and this has got to be 2 0. He's in so much space, plays it into the corner, and we double the lead. Swansea have got another chance here, though. They work the ball out wide, and suddenly they're playing decent football. But we get the tackle in there with Wes Morgan. We can't manage to keep hold of it, though. And then they play the shot straight at Schmeichel. He throws it out to Mahrez, plays it onto Inler, who moves it to Conte. Conte looks out wide. Who's he going to play this to? He moves it onto Albrighton. He moves inside with an interesting little spin there. Plays it through to Jamie Vardy. And what on earth just happened there? And we get lucky again. What on earth is going on in this game? The two goals that Mahrez has scored have been dreadful. He's been lucky on both occasions, but he's got two goals the same as last time. Last time, though, his two goals were incredible. This time, they're both rubbish tap-ins. Look at that. Why does the ball find its way to Morris? I don't understand this game sometimes. It just bounces off absolutely everyone. Finds its way to Morris. He makes it 3-0. Swansea have got a chance here though. And they manage to pick themselves up a consolation goal. Not the best goal you'll ever see. In fact, none of these goals were the best goals you'll ever see. But... It's a 3-1 victory anyway, and it's 4 wins out of 4 for Leicester. So, we're 8 points clear at the top of the table going into the final episode. we still got to play Manchester United, Everton and Chelsea though. So, 3 very difficult games, and Chelsea have got a game in hand as well. So, obviously if they win that, they'll only be 5 points behind us. And they've got to play us as well, so that's another chance to pick up points on us. It's going to be a difficult final episode. It could be very interesting. Hopefully, though, we can pick up a win against Manchester United in the next game, wrap up the title, and that will be absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.